this room settings scroll down allow creative tools beta content all right so first i'm gonna show you guys actually how to display the player ui first you want to pull out your palette and you want to go components then you want to go to the button get you a button you can use the interaction volume or button all right after you have your button go to palette search up display and you'll see display player world ui you want to wire player to pressed on the button so next you're going to need a player world ui wire it to the bottom of display player ui then wire the execution of player world ui to the input of target on the display player ui you'll need to configure the player world ui and you'll see chip settings scroll down to you see primary bar disable that unless you want health secondary bar is also for health i'm not going to need this for the video so you click on text and click enabled so type in whatever you want your text to be i'm gonna type my username I'm going to change the color to red. Now from your palette, you're going to need a set player world UI text enabled. Wire player player and depressed on the button. After you click this button, you should display cells above my head now. I'm going to show you guys how to actually put the player UI to work. Okay, so you're gonna need a set player world UI text value. Wire it to the end. Wire the execution of set player world UI text enabled to the input of set player world UI text value. Your player, player under pressed on the button. So we're gonna make a simple integer variable. I would wire it above the display player UI. Get an add. So wire the input of the integer variable to the output of add to sum and then wire the integer variable output to one of the inputs on add and then configure the add and change the value to one or whatever number you would like i want my number to increase by one for now search up a two string wire the output of the integer variable to the two string now wire the button pressed to the input of the integer variable and wire the output of the integer variable to the input of the display player world UI. Configure the integer variable. Then turn on cloud variable. All right, now clone the two string. Get a get local player chip and wire the output to the input of two string. String format. And I'll place down a string format. Configure the string format and under chip settings. Scroll down and click add input. So wire the get local player to string to the first value on the string format. And on the second value, wire the integer variable to string. Then configure the string format and type in this fancy bracket zero fancy bracket. You have to use the fancy brackets when you're using strings. Colon space and then put a fancy bracket one and a fancy bracket using numbers because the value the first value on the string variable is a zero so anything that gets inputted into there will display on the string format and then same goes for one wire the result on string format to the value on set player UI text. All right, well, this was how to display a player world UI using integer variables. See you guys in the next tutorial.